Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. Here on my channel, I share DIYs, home decor, goodwill, thrift, hauls, and more. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing if you like what you see. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm giving my dad's dining room a makeover. The, this is a video from uh, January of last year of 2020. This wallpaper my mother absolutely loved. Um, however, it was old, um, discoloring and started peeling off the wall, but we didn't remove it because it was something that my dad was still holding on to because she loved it and we respected him for that and we understood it. Now these pictures that's hanging on the wall, those are going to get a makeover and I'm going to hang them back up because I'm going to be spray painting them gold. You see the frame is already gold, but I'm going to be using a different gold and I'm going to be using placemats to create some wall art. My mom and dad um, and my siblings, I never lived in this house because I moved away from home when I was 19 to Florida. I lived in Pennsylvania and moved to Florida, Pennsylvania. Um, here it is that I'm putting up the wallpaper. I'm just gonna be talking while you're watching what I'm doing. This is the wallpaper my dad bought. He also bought this in Ju uh, January of last year. Four rolls of it in January, and then when I came back um, Thanksgiving of this year, 2021, uh, he bought two more rolls, which I am glad because this dining room, um, I needed all six rolls to cover the entire dining room. Um, but like I was saying, um, I never lived in this house because I moved, uh, the year after I graduated from high school, my mom and dad moved here when my youngest sister was still in high school. So it was in 80s. I graduated in 81. So it was in the mid to late eighties when they moved into this house. And my mother loved that wallpaper. Um, my dad finally decided he was okay with letting go of it. My mom passed in September of 2007, went on to be with the Lord and he just didn't want to let go, but he was okay with the makeover now. So here it is already covered. Just this part, I still had the burgundy wall right there. You can see that I had to, that was the accent wall that I had to um, cover the next day. And the sheet is up there because I took the curtain down and that's a bay window and the neighbor's house is right next door. So you can see through there, but you will see um, video coming up where I, my brother purchased the blinds that you just push up with your hands, not the string. He got them from Family Dollar for just $8, which was a good deal. So he ended up hanging it up in the window. That's where the buffet is. You'll see the mirror on the buffet. We end up taking that off and that's going to be put on the wall. And coming up is the entire dining room completed with the wallpaper. This china cabinet, we're going to stain it. Um, and either there or I'm going to put in the living room. I haven't decided that refrigerator or it's a freezer actually. We're going to put it in the kitchen. And here are the blinds again. They look really nice. These lamps, my dad bought these for my mom that came with the Victorian furniture set, which they no longer have. When I, I want to say I was maybe five years old. So those lamps, the only thing that's changed is different is the shades that's on them. So um, I'm going to clean them up and they come with the crystals. Some of the arms are broken, but I'm going to fix them because they're sentimental. And I put one in the bay window. My brother, he painted the inside of the window and everything white. He painted the bottom walls white. We're going to get trim around this window because there's trim around this one and there's trim around the kitchen door. So we're going to put trim around that bay window and trim around the arch opening um, between the living room and the dining room right here we're going to put trim so everything can flow so um again we took the mirror off of the buffet and you can see we hung me and my brother hung it on the wall well my dad kind of changed my style design um and while i'm looking at the ceiling fan we're going to get a chandelier i mean yes um a ceiling or i call it a fandelier too we've already chosen that he kind my dad kind of changed my design style when he bought a shelf beautiful shelf so what I decided to do was take this mirror 
and give it a makeover to match the shelf, which is this beautiful shelf here. Because this design style does not go with the brown mirror, I'm going to be taking the entire dining room set when I, I plan to move to Florida and I'm going to purchase a new dining room set for him. That is my desire and that's what I want to do for him. Um, my sisters did not want my dad to sell it. My dad was going to sell it, but my dad's, um, the church that he pastored, the members purchased that set for my parents um, for, oh, I say over 10 years ago. So I'm going to keep it in the family by taking it and then just purchasing a new set. So what I'm doing here is unboxing everything that I'm going to use to change this mirror. Here's a bling wrap. All this was ordered from Amazon. The mirror tiles I did not use. I'm going to use them in a future um, DIY. These tiles, only one was cracked. So the packaging was pretty good. So there's four of these square tiles and then these little miniature tiles. There's just two sheets of those. All of uh, that's um, adhesive. You peel it off and it sticks. And I believe the square ones I showed you also sticks. Yes, you, there's um, they're self-adhesive is what they are. And then this tape, which is very strong, clear um, two-sided tape. I'm using this tape to hang up the artwork that I'm going to uh, be recreating as well. I won't be showing myself doing that. And then these are the mirror tiles. They come in five and there's 10 on each sheet. I only end up using one sheet. So what I've already done, I've taken the netting off the back of this um, sheet that I'm using. You can see here and I'm preparing to get ready to glue them on. But first, I'm going to show you that I'm painting the rose colored flowers that's on the mirror because I don't want them peeking through the bling wrap. So I'm just using some black paint. I'll be covering the flowers with the black paint as well as um, painting the edge around the mirror black. And then I'll be putting the bling wrap on it. So I'm going to speed up the process here a little bit. You see, I've started here and um, again, I'm just covering it. And I think I did like three coats of this acrylic paint that I purchased from Walmart. And that again is just to hide the flowers because I didn't want the pink showing through the bling wrap. You'll see a little bit of the black show through the bling wrap. Now here it is all completed and done. And then I'm going to start um, gluing the bling wrap around the edge, the border of the mirror. Now I glue the edge first and then you'll see where it's all laid out on the table. The bling wrap already covering the entire mirror and the um, mirrors that I purchased from Amazon. I laid everything out to try to get an idea because my first idea I wanted to do where I'm putting this bling wrap, I really wanted to use those mirrors but putting two on caused it to extend beyond the length and the width of the mirror. And I didn't have a mirror cutter and I've never cut mirrors, so I didn't want to damage it. So I just decided to trim the border of the mirror with the bling wrap. And then I just had to, it took me a while just to get a layout of what looked good to kind of flow with the shelf that my dad bought. So here it is um, coming up where I've covered it and I'm showing you now that's completed. Now what you'll see next, after I show you it, you know, all the way around, all that is glued. You saw where that edge was done. Right here is covered. I'm gonna also cover the sides. You'll see where it's black, painted black right there. I'm going to cover that with the bling wrap on both sides as well. And here it is, it's not glued. It's just laid out because it took a while for me to find a pattern that would look good. And again, I used one entire sheet um, of the mirror tile, which is a total of 10 of those long mirror tiles on this mirror. And what I use to um, glue to this mirror is um, adhesive fix-all from the Dollar Tree. And I really love this stuff. It doesn't take much at all. It's just a little dot. I put a little dot on there and then just put the mirror on and I squeezed every little bit I could out of the tube for all 10 of those 
uh, mirror tiles. I think when I got to the last two, I had to use the glue stick. I had enough to put on all of them, but I used the glue stick and then I let it sit on the table all night um, and dry before I hung it up the next day. And here it is all completed and hung and it looks so good. My dad absolutely love it. So again, because he bought this mirror, I had to think of something to do to flow with that and we're gonna end up taking the brown mirror down. I'm going to buy a mirror that's clear like the shelf. Probably no bling because that's enough bling because his fandelier is going to be blinged out. So I, I don't think we're gonna overdo the bling in the dining room, but I'm going to replace that round mirror with a, another mirror that's going to flow with what is already done here on this wall. You also see the art that was hanging on the wall. All I did was I spray painted all of the frames gold and then I bought some placemats from Walmart. You'll see one that's hanging, that's gonna hang on this, this right here. This is a um, placemat, that gray is a placemat. All I did was paint the back of the frame black and put the placemat on there. Not the frame, but the mat, because on the other side is the original picture. That's what these are too as well, is placemats. Now the gold placemats, they were gray, so I painted them gold. So it's all gonna flow. It's basically gonna be silver, gold, and black. And then the curtains there I hung, we purchased the, um, curtain rods that do not go all the way across they're just for stationary where he doesn't have to move it those temp those curtains are there temporarily because they're not long as I want them to be they are the color that I want them to be but I'm going to buy him some other kind of curtains but like I said he loved the way it turned out I love the way it turned out this is just the beginning of my dad's dining room makeover um that little vase there I'm going to put you a picture up but it used to be a pineapple something he said something happened where the forks fell off it fell knocked off the shelf he had it on so i spray painted some flowers he had gold is what you saw in there and put them in there so this is just a look of what i've done so far i'll be going back um 2022 of june to do some more work on the dining room we're going to do the ceiling we want to do some faux coffer tiles on the ceiling and um, do the trim around the door there are the gold flowers right there um, that I spray paint. They used to be rose color or something, or pink. Again, here is what the dining room looked like before. And this was, again, this video was taken in January of 2020. And then coming up, what it looked like after I got through wallpapering it. And again, with the mirror, shelf, and pictures hanging. So I want to thank you all for stopping by. And if you enjoyed this Please consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I would love to hear your comments. And again, thank you for stopping by JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs.